there's a piece of paper that says you can do this. It's your property, technically, yeah. right? According to the rules. And then still, you have to go beg, and then they say no. And then, well, if you only spend a bit more time and a lot more money, we'll let it. We'll let this go. What about what about if they're like up on on, like the grade is up higher, but they back onto a main street. Uh, you'd have to look at it on a case by case basis. I mm -hmm. think they'll. My sense is that the city wants to see these because they're recommending it. So you know they'll work with you. Um, and that's, that's kind of why it's good to reach out to people who know what they're doing with this stuff and can so give you some advice opportunities about, about how to it's, approach the city. Yeah. And it yeah. seems like such a, like, there's so many of these, like, it, it's almost just like we can yeah. have a housing, uh, crisis solved within, within 10 years. If everyone just decides to do what is necessary on these lots, we know we're not going to do it. We know that's not going to happen. Yeah, but it's still like none of them are for sale. So what a what a good. what a policy! Like what a what a policy! I think that's it could a help. Game changer. Yeah, yeah, it could be very gotta, helpful. But is gotta, it? This is the thing. Them. That's the challenge. You got to yeah, right? build them. Sure. And you got to yeah. make them affordable. Just or make no? like a factory that makes six story buildings. Put it in like you know Bradford or somewhere not too far, and then you can just have buildings being made, manufactured, and we just assemble them on these properties, and everyone just gets the same building. That way, they look nice. Simple. Yeah, I, well, I'm working with a lot of business logical. ideas today on the show. But I'm this working is with a group right now that's doing that with fourplexes. Effectively, they're doing the. They have a couple of designs that fit on standard Toronto lots. Mm -hmm. They have you know pre-manufactured parts. Um, it's like they they're not they don't have to redesign the building every time. Uh, you know, it's not yeah, one-off yeah. construction every time. That works and, out perfectly, right? Because every lot is so similar, and all the conditions are the same. And bullshit. Well, everybody I, has that plan. It just it doesn't work in reality. Those they work on some lots, a lot of lots, maybe, but not all yeah. lots. And no, every, no, you'll never get it right? to work on all lots. Well, every that's application, the yeah, your grade's like, well, different. Well, when I did the laneway suite stuff like years ago, one of the criticisms we got from um, you know residents was, you know, oh, we don't want these to go to the committee of adjustment. Like if you zone it, then people should just deal with the permissions, and that's yeah. it. And I was like, Suck no, that's. Up. That's not how anything works. You know, Nothing. there's a reason you can go to the committee and it's deal with, you know, exceptional circumstances. And so people have been doing that. And, you know, we uh, and we've taken some laneway suites to the, the committee as well and had, um, you know, mixed success. I actually I lost the first laneway suite committee of adjustment file that I brought to the city after leaving Toronto. And I was really mm -hmm. kind of don't put that on your resume. It. No, well, I, I just won the T-Lab hearing to get it okay, approved, okay, so they're going to build that. it anyway. Look okay, at this so process. <laughs> Look at this process you got to go through. Unbelievable. Yeah. Well, no, it, it is. It's actually it's actually kind of uh, I it was a it was a bad decision. I think the committee made they they were they were they weren't in the right frame of mind to give me the time of day. What were you uh, trying to do though? What was the issue? It was it was one of those lots on Davenport, uh, you know, by. By Casa Loma there, and the grade change from Davenport up to the lane See, is that's crazy where years. I'm talking about. Yeah. Yes, that's yeah. exactly where I'm thinking. Yeah, so they have a, they have a really yeah. cool uh, fourplex at the front, and they wanted to put a. Uh, they already had that built for the most part, and they wanted to put a uh, laneway suite at the back. And since the fourplex was already built, and there wasn't a ton of space in the backyard, the separation distance was less than. And then, and the building looked taller as well because. On it the lane, it looked high, like a two-story. Yeah. On the lane, it looked like a two-story laneway suite. Totally fine. But then when you look from the other side, it's a three-story structure, right? And with a walkout basement, effectively. And so people, the committee, well, they didn't like that. So they didn't the, like the that. OLT did. So why is that any yeah. of their fucking or the, the T lab? So rather crazy, mm -hmm. so crazy that this is somebody else's business when there, there's a piece of paper that says you can do this. It's your property, technically, yeah. right? According to the rules. And then still you have to go beg and then they say no. And then, well, if you only spend a bit more time and a lot more money, we'll let it, we'll let this go. Hey guys, thanks for watching our clips channel. Why don't you go and check out some more clips? We got lots of other good content somewhere over here. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Boom. That was good. That was, that was good. good. That was good. I like that. That was good.